Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Gofa Nilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to to subscribe. If there's anything you want me to react to, give me the name, give me the name or the link. Just comment it down below, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to a warning from history amid the that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God be upon one and all. In the Holy Quran, in Surah Muhammad, I am quoting from Surah Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wa in tatawallu yastabdil qawman ghayrakum, thumma la yakunu amthalakum. This is the last segment. Of the last verse of Surah Muhammad, chapter 47. If you were to find this in the, your Holy Quran, to the Arab there is no difficulty. Most probably he knows and he can open and find it. But for the non Arab, and more especially the non Muslim, he will have to get a book like this. The Holy Quran translated an encyclopedia of some 2000 pages, produced by the, 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 the precedence of the Islamic courts and affairs in Doha, Qatar. You can obtain this from them. And at the back of this volume is an index. And in that index, if somebody told you that this is from Surah Muhammad, so you look up under M. Muhammad in italics and it will tell, tell you chapter 47. Or somebody tells you chapter 47, then it is easy to find chapter 47. And verse 38, the last verse. I have quoted to you the last segment of the last verse from this Surah Muhammad, in which Allah says, That if you turn back, O you Muslims, if you turn back, if you turn back from the duties and responsibilities which Allah Ta'ala has imposed upon you for being the khaira ummat in the best of people, if you turn back from your duties and responsibilities, he will substitute in your place another people. Summa. Then, then they will not be like you. And when we study history, we find that this law, an eternal law of Allah Ta'ala, is working all the time. You do not carry out your duties and responsibilities, Allah replaces you with another people. And in this history, we have a classic example of the Bani Israel. Let us confess that Allah chose them. As much as we might not like it, for racial reasons, for what is happening in the Middle East, what is happening in Israel, what is happening to our brethren, we don't like it. But Allah chose them. And He sent prophets after prophets to them. Out of the four books that we name, that we believe in, we say the Torah, the Zabur and the Injil are, and the Furqan, out of the four, three are those given to the Jews. The first one to Hazrat Musa, alayhi salam, the second one to Hazrat Dawud, alayhi salam, the third one to Hazrat Isa. Alayhi salam. Torah, Zabur, Injil, Jew, Jew, Jew. Among all the prophets we name, besides the, our Nabi Karim, sallallahu alayhi salam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, Almost all the other names we take, we say Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, a Jew, Hazrat Dawud alayhi salam, a Jew, Hazrat Suleiman alayhi salam, a Jew, Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam, a Jew, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, a Jew. Look, Allah chose them for his revelation to become the torch bearers of light and learning to the world. But they made their religion a racial religion. They were not prepared to share with anybody. They made it a family tradition. The Deenullah, they made it a family affair. Only for Jews. So Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, a Jew among the Jews, he tells them, as recorded in the so-called Injil, 
because the, in the Christian Bible, as I said, divided into two portions, the Old and the New Testament. The New Testament is what they call the Gospel, the New Testament, the, in which we have a certain number of books. We, they say the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the Gospel according to St. Mark, the Gospel according to St. Luke, the Gospel according to St. John. And they translate this word Gospel in Arabic as Injil, Injile Matthew, Injile Marcus, Injile uh, Lucas, Injile Joh Johanna. They keep on repeating the word Injil, 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 which may be a correct translation, but really this is not Injil. When we say Injil, we believe in the revelation that Allah Bari Taala gave to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. That is Injil, not what Matthew wrote or what Mark wrote or what Luke wrote or what John wrote. These are not Injils. You can call it the so-called Injil. But the Injil is what was given to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. And Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is reported to have said to his people, the Jews. He said, and the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Because you are not doing the job, you have made your religion a racial religion. Allah Bari Taala will take this honor, this privilege of being the Khaira Ummatin. They were the Khaira Ummatin of their time. But because they didn't do the job, Hazrat Isa Alayhi Salam says it will be taken away from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. That's going to produce results. And this is the law of God. If you don't produce results, يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا خَيْرَكُمْ He says he'll substitute in your place another people. So he substituted in place of the Bani Israel, the Bani Ismail, the Arabs. And a people, they were looked down upon. And this is the law of God again. He picks up the people whom the world considers to be the most despicable, the most lowly. He takes them up from the gutter and he puts them on the top. He makes them masters of the world. He makes them rulers of the world. And he has done it again and again. He honored the Muslims. They spread out throughout the known world. They conquered North Africa and they went to Spain and they ruled Spain for 800 years. They had a, a jolly good time. Riches, opulence, buildings, amenities of life. As Allah describes, Kam tarakum in jannatim wa uyun. So how many were the gardens and the fountains they left behind? Wa zuim wa makam in kareem. And cornfields and monumental buildings. Wa ni'matin kanu fiha faqihin. And wealth and the amenities of life in which they took so much delight. Kazalika. Awrasnaha qawman akhareen. Thus other people were made to, in, to inherit these things. Fama baqat alayhimu sama. And neither the heavens nor the earth shed a tear for them, nor was respite given to them anymore. 800 years they had a jolly good time, our ancestors in Spain. But they didn't propagate the faith. They didn't do the primary duty of the Muslim was to propagate the faith. faith. The deenullah, this is what Allah honored him for. Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat nas. When he made us the best of People for mankind, it was for mankind and not for the Arabs alone or the North Africans alone. But they made it also like the Jews. They made it a closed book. They were not prepared to share the deen with the Spaniards. So these drunkards, these gamblers, these pig eaters, what will they understand about Islam? So they didn't do the job. So Allah's law comes into force. So, and they will substitute in your place another people. And they were substituted. Kicked out to a man. There was not a single Arab left. There was not a single Muslim left in that country after 800 years to give the azan. Shame on us. In Cyprus, in the Mediterranean, our Turkish brethren, they ruled that country for 400 years. And in 400 years, they didn't convert 400 Greek families to Islam. Had it not been, for the strong arm of Turkey, protecting these Turks in Cyprus, there would not be a single Turk left on that island today. Without Turkey, no Turk on Cyprus. Wiped out to a man, not one will be left. This is Allah's law. Yastabdil qawman khayrakum. If you are not prepared to share, this is the outcome. In India, 
the Muslims ruled that country for 1,000 years. But after 1,000 years of Muslim rule, eventually when partition takes place, the Muslim gets one quarter, the Hindu gets three quarter. Why? Because the Muslim didn't do the job. 1,000 years he failed to do the job. So the law of Allah comes again into force. Yastabdil qawman ghayrakum. He'll substitute in your place another people. It's a warning for us. Allah has given us a second inning in the Arab lands. He has given you a second inning. And I believe that there will not be a third inning. Either we fulfill the duties and obligations which this honor of being the Khaira Ummatin imposes upon us or, or wait. Fatar Abbasu, Allah says wait. And the people in the past, they waited for the destruction. Are we going to wait? It's left to us. يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُ أَمْثَالَكُمْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ مَرَ رَزِيمٌ uh, It's very true. Once um, God has given you or shown you the way to something, it really now becomes up to you and what you do with that maybe information or path and how you want to go about it. Because it's like when your child grows up, you tell them to take that path that they believe in, yeah? so that they can find themselves, so that they can grow and figure it out. It's like telling us to figure it out. So if we don't do what we're supposed to do to figure it out, we end up where we started, ground zero. I think it's, it's, I think it's a fair warning. If, um, if God is going to say, okay, I'm giving you this act according to this but then you don't he takes it to the other group of people i'm giving you this do this with it they don't do it takes it to the next people and the line continues what but i was wondering if this is the situation are muslims also willing to take this because there, there are newer religions that have been formed in this world if someone should argue saying but this is from chapter Muhammad and it's backing up our religion saying that if the Muslims don't do this, another religion is going to come and take over. Do you understand? Not take over in that way, but like a new religion is going to be introduced because God wants it. Because there, there are many, many religions that have come up and I'm sure for the sake of... Um, for the sake of not notice, what word am I going for? And for someone to be noticed, they'll always want to come up with an argument towards these, the biggest religions in the world. I would love to believe. But let me know what you think. Um, like I said, it's, it's always up to us to decide what we want to do with what God has given us or ignore it. And if we ignore it, there's the warning. We'll get what we deserve. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.